Hello and welcome. Today, we're gonna to look at some of the new features and Google magic that have come to Android in the latest feature drop. Like making the world's largest earthquake detection network, updates to the messaging app and Emoji Kitchen, and for those Android Auto fans out there, something exciting at the end. So stick around and you'll be able to tell your customers about what's new when they ask. I'll be joined by Leon, our rep in the field, who will be here to take you through some of the features. He is currently on a top secret mission, but I'll call him. Wow, the secret seasonal mission looks pretty hair raising. Is everything okay? Leon? Leon, can you hear me? Oh, I shouldn't have let him go. I told them it was too dangerous. We have to be quick. I'm on a secret seasonal mission and this area is known for earthquakes. Thankfully, my phone gave me a warning to get to safety. Hey, your phone? What? I have so many questions. Tom, I am sheltering from an earthquake. When earthquakes hit, even a few seconds warning can make all the difference. The alert told me to drop, cover and hold. The Android earthquake alert system alerts you seconds before an earthquake hits, which means you can seek shelter faster. We do this through two mechanisms. In the US, our alerts are powered by the Shake Alert system. Across the globe, however, we're using mobile devices as mini seismometers working together to create the world's largest earthquake detection network. Earthquake alerts have been available in a few places like Oregon, Washington, Greece and New Zealand, but it is now live in Turkey and launching around the world over the next year. Is it safe for you to use? Your cover could be blown. Don't worry, Tom. My privacy is totally protected, so sensitive information about me or my whereabouts can't be accessed by Google or anyone else. I think it's passed. It was a big tremor, but we made it through. That's right, folks, you can never be too careful. But the Android earthquake system update sure can help you keep your loved ones safe. But that's not the only update. Leon, what else have you got for us? Okay, okay. What about the Messages app? now having end-to-end -end encryption so that the content that we share will be private. How does that work? When we both have the Messages app with chat features turned on, all the messages that we send each other will be for our eyes only as they travel from my phone to yours. Oh. Thanks, Leon. Now there's a safety feature we can all appreciate. Well, that brings me to the next useful feature. When time is of the essence and you need to find a message quickly, whether it be a friend's address or a password, then what do you do? Well, I, I scroll and I scroll and I scroll until I find it. I don't have time for that. Thankfully, starred messages on the Messages app help you keep track of what's really important so you can easily find them later in messages, search without scrolling through all of your conversations. Looks like messages have received a few amazing updates there then, with starred messages and end-to-end -end encryption. But guess what? You're not the only one who spotted some amazing updates. How have you been enjoying Emoji Kitchen? Loving it, obviously. It's almost as if they couldn't have improved it, right? Well, I have a new treat just for you. It's now easier than ever to find the emoji combinations that you love and all the new ones that you might not know about. Not only is there a new section with your recently used Emoji Kitchen stickers so that you can quickly get back to the ones that you use most frequently, now you'll also start to see contextual suggestions in Emoji Kitchen once you've typed a message. 
These are suggestions to help you discover the perfect emoji combination at the exact moment you need it. Nice. That's going to be really useful. There are over 14,000 of these Emoji Kitchen stickers, so this will make finding the perfect one much easier. As if such a thing could even be imagined. Thank you. I've got a couple more features that I can tell you about. So you've already told us about updates to messages, Android earthquake alerts, and you've looked at Emoji Kitchen, but you're telling me that's not all that you want to cover today. Have you got time? I'll make time. You use Google Assistant all the time, right? Just everything. Setting alarms, reminders, playing music, asking questions. Everything. What about opening and searching apps? It does, it does that. You know that Google Assistant is always improving, but now you can use it to open or search most apps using just your voice. Try saying, hey Google, find tote bags on eBay, or hey Google, show my stocks on Yahoo Finance. You can check out more by just saying, hey Google, shortcuts. So Google Assistant continues to be more helpful with every update. I can't wait to try out those new shortcuts. Speaking of getting more done on your device using only your voice, have you heard about gaze detection on voice access? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know all the secrets. All right, so what's gaze detection then? Um... Could it be building on the voice access accessibility feature in Android? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Built for people with motor disabilities. It's a really cool new feature currently in beta that means voice access will only work when you're looking at the screen. So you can be hanging out with friends and your phone will be able to tell the difference between you saying a command for something to be done on the device or just conversation, depending on whether you're looking at the screen. So my phone could tell the difference between me talking to you and ignore that until I'm looking directly at it and asking it to do something. That is cool. I'm going to have to head out. I've got a long drive to my next secure location. Hold on, I've got one more and it's a good one. How do some updates to Android Auto grab you? Ooh. Go on. What's one thing that you wish that Android Auto could do? Well, now there's a question. Messages? Oh, then have I got a surprise for you. This could almost be scripted. But it's not, right? We're just talking here. What if I told you you could now customise Android Auto for easier navigation through tabs in media, like YouTube Music or Spotify? I would be delighted, obviously. What about messages? Can I see them now? You can. You can choose your favourite messaging apps and send messages right from the launch screen. We can use these to keep in contact. Use the code word Phoenix so I know it's you. So there you have it folks, a whole host of new updates for you, including all of these. <laughs> Tell your friends, don't keep these features a secret. I, I can't make any promises. Danger is my middle name after all. Danger? I thought it was Decane. I think we've got a bad line. I've got to go. Stay safe out there. This update just shows that Android is the OS with the ongoing access to the best of Google and its ecosystem, always getting more helpful over time. Thank you very much and we'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>